need to rest. So cold, so tired. No, you listen to me. This discovery is too important. I don't give a damn about my reputation. Don't you dare threaten me. After everything I've done? Hello? Hello? Dad, what's happening? They're fools! You're scaring me. I'm close, Laura. Close to something important. Someday, you'll understand. I don't want to understand. I just want you to stop. Be my dad again. Runner down. found another camp up here. Fire was still warm. They can't be far. Over. Command, we're fanning out to pick up the trail. Roger that, but it looks like they've retreated. The primary objective is to find a missing survey team. Still no work. Negative. Spread the word. The natives set snares in the clearing. They must have planned for us to pursue. God damn it. They weren't retreating. This was a feint. They're still out there. Brinker's cave. hit us outside the ruins. Then they retreated away from the facility. This was a coordinated feint. They're trying to spread us out. Don't fuck this up. These are peasants. Keep your eyes 
is open. The natives booby trapped the woods. Gearing up. I was on the first flight to Siberia to secure the old Soviet installation now. More arriving every minute. Konstantin gave a speech to the new boots and I stayed in the back to watch. Love hearing him speak. Never gets old. I was never much for believing, but it was just words before this is something more. It's truth. I was broken once. But Trinity is making us whole again. Giving giving us a purpose. A new world awaits. Even those who don't believe will have a part to play. to draw it out.
Prophet and his followers have been traveling under cover of night, a crooked trail around the border of the Eastern Empire. I do not know where they are headed, and I suspect they do not either. But they know we will not let them rest until this heresy is purged. The common folk of the Borderlands give him shelter, and I find it curious that none who have aided him will tell me anything of use. Even when I threaten them with the wrath of Trinity or touch the edge of a knife to their throats, they stay silent. They die, never betraying what they know. The Prophet has a curious sway over people. All the more reason he must be silenced. be cold. An arrowhead carved froft 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 bone. This looks like Mongol craftsmanship. This was a whistling arrow. Mongol archers would fire these over their enemies to frighten and confuse them.
A Byzantine war galley. How the hell did it get down here? Mongolian. They passed through here. I must be close to the lost city. <sighs> must be something up there. Maria Adula is trapped. The ice gave way. Her spine snapped in two. No matter. While I hope to wield her cannons against the false prophet, we will continue on foot. I have six of the Order of Trinity's best, and we have been stockpiling food and supplies while the sailors starved. They do not know it yet, but they will give their life for the cause. My men and I will find our way out of these icy caves and continue on foot. Before the ship was swallowed by the ice to the south, we heard music. That will be our first stop. But first I must rest. The cold has sunk into my bones. And I am drowsy. Just a little sleep. Now to find out what's up there. so much wealth with them. It's 
done. We'll die here, thanks to Coraldus and the madness of the Order of Trinity. My ship will never see water again. We entered the glacial sea too far into the winter. Would have been turned back, but Coraldus would not abandon this lost prophet. He and his dead-eyed warriors seized control. He forced the ship through shallow tributaries until we could go no further. Then he made my crew construct sled runners, and the bastard forced us to tow the ship over land. It was death and excommunication to deny him. But it was death either way. I will make sure he dies here, with us. I have always kept a little poison at the ready in case the ship was taken. Now it has another use. Codex details the archery techniques of the foes of the Byzantine Empire. Fugitive Prophet has crossed out of the Empire and now turns north. I'm now in unfamiliar territory. The Order of Trinity was clear. I am to pursue the False Prophet and his adherents to the ends of the Earth and wash away his heresy. But I believed I could overtake him months ago. Still, he eludes me. He crosses Khazar land and across the Caucasus Mountains. Here, I'm at a disadvantage. I speak a dozen tongues of the Empire, but in the hinterlands, I'm often left to communicate with little more than a sword. The Prophet, it seems, speaks every language, as if he were born to them. enemy. That remains to be seen. You killed those men back there. I killed them to survive. I suspect you did too. How long have they been here? Days, at most. The invaders took many of my people prisoner. You should leave this place before it's too late. 
I can't do that. I came here for something important. So did they. If I see you again, I'll put an arrow in your throat. You and I are on the same side. I hope I can prove that to you. What's going on down there? Who? So, there are people who live out here. And they appear to have been here for a very long time, living in isolation for decades, maybe even centuries. I notice elements of her dress, small adornments that would not have been out of place in the Byzantine Empire. Could they possibly be descendants of the Prophet's people? How much do they know about the lost city or the divine source? It's clear Trinity will do anything to find out. I'm afraid that whoever they are, they're in grave danger. Let's hope the old proverb about the enemy of my enemy remains true. First day in Siberia, and it happens. Two years in Afghanistan and another in Indonesia, nothing. But one day out here on the ice, and pop, I get a kill. I watch the man's eyes go glassy as he begged me for something. I'm not Russian, I have no clue. I waited with him and watched. One minute he was there, and next, nothing. Just meat. I got sick on the snow, all mixed in with the kid's blood, but... He's just meat now, and I'm alive. Constantine keeps telling us we're out here for a special reason, tells us we're doing God's work. I'm starting to see that now. Constantine is on his way down from the prison. We need to get this mess in order before he arrives. Hey, can anyone hear me? God damn it, we gotta get comms back up. Never seen anything like that. Crazy son of a bitch. Rushing three armed men with an axe? I don't know how they managed to take one of them alive. Who the hell are these people? Initial recon said they're... You hear that? I'll go look. Copy that. Where'd this come from? What's that?
There's more of them arriving. Established with the prison. We're on our own out here. That was Constantine's chopper. What the hell is he doing down here? Not for me to say. They took one of the natives alive to question him, but it cost us three men. I'm guessing command wants to know what they're doing. Incoming! We're under attack! Heads up! Incoming!
We're out of time. Shoot him. He'll talk or he'll bleed out. of looking. Nah, I'm not sure I can stop the leech. It doesn't work. We'll have to crimp the pipe until we get it back. Not sure we'll be able to find spare parts out here. I left you in charge here. Yes, sir. But we didn't expect such heavy resistance. You were to be my eyes. I expected you to see. You must know what is at stake with this operation. Yes. But, no. No. You don't. No. How could someone like you... Go easy. Go easy. Don't fear the suffering. Our goal is within reach, but we must be vigilant. If we succeed here, a new world awaits. One of our own making. Constantine, you need it back at the prison right away. We've got a captive who might know something about the artifact. Remain faithful. We will share in the glory of the Divine Source. Please. What do we do with him? No. Nobody touch him. Looks like we got another fuel leak. What the hell happened? This thing is 50 years old. Yeah, it looks like the valve failed. All right, let's get it shut. We can't afford to lose any more after that attack. Okay, I got this. Hold that part steady. Just need some more leverage. Cover me stripped. You wanna give me a hand? Find a way to destroy that tank.
Constantine is here. The man who tried to kill me in Syria. He's violent, dangerous, but worse. He appears entirely devoted to his misguided beliefs. I seem to have a habit of running afoul of religious zealots. I suppose it all goes with the territory. His men on the radio mentioned a prisoner with information. Could it be one of the natives I've encountered? And if so, what does he know? Trinity will not be kind in their methods. Perhaps I can find him. Find out what he knows. Earning the trust of the locals might prove useful. in that way without being seen must be another way The Red Army is coming. 
I've been tracking them for weeks, watching as hundreds of men build the iron monstrosity across the ice. Men have died, their frozen bodies left scattered in the tundra. No rites of passing, no burial or burnings. These new invaders are cruel, godless men. Do they come seeking the precious metals of the mountain? Or like so many before them, are they drawn here by the divine source? My people must again prepare for war. The loss of the fuel tanks will slow them down, and it won't stop them. Roth is determined that I should learn how to shoot. However, he tried to teach me today. I was utterly hopeless. I've always said in the field you can't go wrong with a stout stick and good boots. I told him I was a man of words, not of weapons. He laughed and said that he hoped I could find the right words to slow down a charging bison. I told him that's what he was for. Bless him for trying, though. I don't think there'll be any more lessons somehow. Roth always said I must have gotten my sharp eyes and steady hands from Mum. That summer, he taught me to shoot instead. I took to it. Maybe too well. <laughs>